What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another spring festival playlist video in Forza Horizon 4. We're driving around in our 92 Toyota Supra that we unlocked in the last video doing the Is That A Supra Seasonal Championship. If you haven't seen that, definitely go check it out. Um, but other than that, we'll go ahead and jump into today's video and we're going to be doing the trial event. So the trial for this week is All You Can Street. And you can see the car restrictions here are S2 class and it has to be a hypercar. So we're going to jump over here. Well, I guess I can start it from here. We're going to start up the All You Can Street trial events from here. You can see that we get the Lycan Hypersport as a reward. So pretty Pretty good car. Um, if you don't have it, I mean, makes it to where it's easy. So we're going to go ahead and start finding a team, and we'll see you back when the event starts up. All right, here we go. Welcome to All You Can Street. So like I said, the restriction is going to be S2. We've got a ton of cars that we can use. Um, I think we're going to use... Um, it's not in this category for some reason. Okay, well that kind of foils my plan, so. I was going to use our Porsche 918 Spider, And I thought that it was definitely in this S2 category, but it might be tuned for X-Class. Um, I think we're going to use the Centenario. Oh no, the 918's right here. This is what we're using. Okay, I've changed the color on it and completely looked right over it, so. This is what we're using. Um, there is a tune on it, and that share code will be up on the screen now if you want to use it, if you've got the car. Um, I think you can buy it from the auto show. It's expensive from what I remember. Um, so, all right, let's see what our counterparts have brought. Got two Aventadors, I think those are what those are and a Koenigsegg. We're starting out at the Derwent Valley Dash. Let's see what they have. So there's only four of us, which is nice. So two Aventadors and a Regera. Okay, an untuned Regera. So we'll see how this goes. I'm the only one in a fully tuned car, I suppose. I mean, the Aventador FE is almost there, but let's see how this goes. I like playing with less teammates because it's less that I have to potentially carry if I'm doing good. So we'll see. I'm going to be kind of upfront and frank. I've already done this event once, didn't have very good teammates, um, and ended up having to quit just because we were down a race and I had an unfortunate tumble on the second race. That caused me some issues. So it looks like our team. I don't know if these Dravatars are just way harder than normal. I mean, this is exactly how the other race, the very, the other first race turned out. The Dravatars just started taking off, and my team couldn't keep up. So this is kind of the importance of why you need to tune on your car, I guess. I'm not a big fan of. S2 racing in general, especially when it's street racing. I don't know that this is the best car for it either. Um, it's very slidey. We've got two Veninos up here. We'll take over first, but we are still a thousand points behind in points because of our team being so far back. So if they quit, then you know we'll win the race. Two in last place quit will win the race, is what I should say. Okay, we've got a gap on the Drivatars in the front now. For now, at least. Can't slow down, that's not how you want to take that turn. But we're going to play it through, see how the standings come out at the end of this race. And see what happens. Like I said, I mean, if the two teammates, or one of the teammates even, it's in last quits, then there's a good chance that we're going to win the race. Um, looks like one of them quit already. So we'll see how that works. We're down to two other teammates now. 
Um, we should see the points kind of catch up with whatever it is here in a minute. At least that's what I've seen in the past. So, we've got 850 points currently. Okay, we, we, we were teetering on winning. Let's see how they finish. Okay, so we lost the first one. Okay, but, you know, that's all right, I guess. Let's see what happens in the second one of this one. That Veneno might be the good call. Might be the car to use, honestly. I don't know. Like I said, this car, it's fast. It's just those turns are a little tight for it to take, it seems. So going on to the second event now, we are Rail Yard Express in the rain. So we still have two teammates, both in the Aventadors. Hopefully they can place a little higher. Hopefully we can get back out in front and, you know, at least do what we can for our team. Need to be at least the poster child for this race since you know we, we should be for all the races the rain is not going to help us here with you know um, the whole not being able to take turns very quickly Did you off the fence that i8 is all over the place i think it was an i8 the drivers are doing some weird things in this events too i noticed it in my first playthrough as well they like really messed with me at the beginning of a race and I was actually catching on one and had an issue because they like pulled in front of me and just been acting a little weird in this event so we'll see what happens as we continue on with the Lego Bugatti here slam on the brakes all right we're up into third we've got the Veninos we've lost another one of our teammates which is fine because with us being in first that puts us winning the race now so we'll see if we can't hold this out and, you know, carry this teammate, at least, into completing this. I've never really had troubles with these trial events, other than there was, like, one, I think it was the Easter one, that I had issues with. And it was, like, an all, or a cross-country one, and the drive towers were just ridiculous for some reason. But a lot of other people had issues with that one. So I'm very curious if people are going to have issues with this one as well. As much um, issues that I've seen to have with it so far. So definitely let me know down below in the description. Or the comments. If you had issues with this one as well. Or maybe I just got unlucky with teammates. Because a lot of people do say they get unlucky with teammates as well. Um, and I never really have that bad of luck. But, you know, obviously we haven't had the greatest teammates so far. But the Drivatars in this one just seem so, like, hard compared to normal, so. There we go. We got first place there. And we barely won because our other guy came in last. So I have to, like, one of us has to come in first place for us to win. He can come in dead last and we can still win because of there not being any other players on our team. So that's good. It's really not good going into the last race being, you know, like that. But we'll do what we have to do, right? So blue team wins. That's going to put us one to one. It all comes down to race number three. Hopefully we can pull it out here. Or hopefully I can pull it out because let's be honest. Um... Dude finished last in both of the events so far. So if it's going to be, it's up to me. Hopefully it's not raining where we're going. Okay. It's a nice sunset. Edinburgh, Newtown. Edinburgh. Yeah, Edinburgh. All right. Or Edinburgh. I don't know. I mean, that's how you pronounce the city. Edinburgh. But it looks like Edinburgh. For some reason while I'm looking at it and of course that's my American English all right here we go in the last event Let's see what happens we don't get to be the poster child which we should be um, so let's get a move on 
Um, hopefully the Gravitars don't cause us much, much issue here. Alright, we're already up in third. We've got the two Veninos up in front of us to fight. This might not be an ideal course for us, because there's a lot of turns. I think that's kind of where they have the advantage. Kind of bump him off a little bit. I'm going to try to not do something that ruins our race, though. Especially with some weird things that have happened with the drive tires in the past. Right, we're in first, though. And we're halfway through the race at this point. The guy's still back in eighth, which is fine. He can stay back there all he wants. We can come in first. We got the Beninos right behind us, really. So any kind of mistake that we make is going to ruin our race. Make sure not to come around that turn too much. Because that's a disaster waiting to happen because there's some stairs that will stop you dead in your tracks there. But here we go with the final straightaway and cross that line. Got first there, so that should win us no matter where our teammate places. He's getting up into six currently, so he's pulling some weight, we'll say. Oh. All right, he's going to finish in six. Very good. So there we go. Blue team wins, and that should complete the trial event for us and get me and Mr. B. Hudson like in Hypersport. That's the first time I've seen those names in the right spot. It was a 50-50 shot, but all you can street is complete. Again, we get the like in Hypersport. Whew. Let me know down in the comments if you had issues with the drive tires on that one as well and what car you use because I would be interested to see if Somebody, I could have used the Centenario. The Centenario probably would have been a better option, quite honestly. So, um, I'll put a Centenario tune down in the uh, description as well, just in case you want to use that. Um, I've used Centenario tunes on street races plenty of times, and they are probably the best because they are very well at handling. But we'll go ahead and jump in to our Hyper or a Lycan Hypersport. Alright, so there we go. That's how you unlock the Lycan Hypersport in the spring season of Forza Horizon 4 through the trial event. And what a trial event and pain in the butt it was. So, I hope you guys did enjoy or found the video helpful. Again, I'll put the... or put a share code for a tune on for the Lamborghini Centenario down below. It may make your guys' life a little easier because the Centenario is a pretty good hypercar um, with that tune on it and for street racing and it handles probably a lot better than my Porsche did. Um, but I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and we will see you in the next video for the seasonal playground games.